Forget the headlines. Let's talk about real combat power. The Rafale M and the F-35C are locked in a struggle for naval air supremacy. But which one truly dominates the seas in 2025? Is it the stealthy, network-centric F-35C, purpose-built for modern information warfare, or the proven multi-role Rafale M, renowned for its reliability and impressive payload capacity? We dive deep to uncover their strategic advantages and reveal the surprising truth about which naval fighter truly holds the upper hand. Have you ever wondered what truly makes a fifth-generation fighter superior on an aircraft carrier? It's not just about speed, it's about an entire operational philosophy. Discover how the F-35C's revolutionary sensor fusion and stealth capabilities compare with the Rafale M's remarkable versatility and formidable weapons capacity. By the end of this video, you'll understand which naval fighter is better prepared to win the wars of the future. Imagine a contested maritime battle space, crowded carrier decks buzzing with activity, and two of the world's most advanced naval fighters preparing for combat. Rafale Maritime, a seasoned, agile, and powerful veteran. F-35. C a stealthy, networked predator. We are not merely comparing specifications. We are pitting these two giants head to head to expose their core design philosophies and determine which platform delivers the greatest tactical advantage when everything is on the line. As we enter the discussion of aircraft carrier deck dominance, the fundamental differences between the F-35C and the Rafale M become increasingly apparent. Both are designed for naval operations, yet their compatibility with carrier launch systems has direct consequences for flexibility and force deployment patterns. The F-35C relies exclusively on the Catabar system, catapult-assisted, takeoff but arrested recovery. This design aligns with U.S. Navy aircraft carriers equipped with steam catapults or electromagnetic launch systems, EEMALS. While this dependence allows the F-35C to launch with controlled payloads and consistent mission profiles, it also restricts operations to carriers with full catabar infrastructure. In contrast, the Rafale M offers broader flexibility. In addition to catabar compatibility, the French fighter can also operate from ski jump equipped carriers making it relevant for navies with more diverse carrier designs. Moving into the realm of stealth and situational awareness, the contrasting combat philosophies of the F-35C and the Rafale M become even more pronounced. Both are designed to survive and prevail in contested airspace. Yet their approaches reflect two distinct doctrines for countering modern threats. The F-35C was built with integrated stealth from the earliest design stages. Its airframe shaping, radar-absorbing materials, and internal weapons bays are all intended to reduce radar and infrared signatures. This advantage is reinforced by sensor fusion, where data from radar, electro-optical systems, infrared sensors, and external sources are combined into a single, comprehensive tactical picture. For the pilot, this results in exceptional situational awareness, enabling detection, tracking, and engagement of targets before adversaries are even aware of the aircraft's presence. By contrast, the Rafale M follows a different path Rather than relying on passive stealth, it employs the Spectra Electronic Warfare System as the backbone of its defense. This suite includes radar warning receivers, active jamming, and advanced countermeasure techniques designed to disrupt enemy sensors. This approach reduces the effectiveness of adversary detection systems while creating maneuvering and counterattack opportunities in threat-dense environments. These differences lead to two contrasting tactical advantages. 
The F-35C embodies the philosophy of first look, first shot, leveraging stealth and data integration to strike from safe distances before close engagement occurs. The Rafale M, on the other hand, emphasizes a detect, deceive, and strike approach, using electronic warfare and maneuverability to confuse opponents, create openings, and deliver precise attacks. In modern air combat, no single approach is absolutely superior. The F-35C's dominance depends heavily on information superiority and sensor networking, while the Rafale M relies on resilience, agility, and advanced electronic warfare. In heavily contested airspace, outcomes will ultimately be determined by how effectively each philosophy is executed against real-world threats and within supporting combat systems. Ultimately, all of these comparisons lead to one key question. Who deserves the crown as the world's most capable naval fighter today? The answer is not as simple as choosing a single name, but rather understanding the strengths and limitations of each platform within different operational contexts. Overall, the F-35C stands out in stealth, sensor fusion, and network integration. These advantages give it high strategic value in the early phases of conflict, where information dominance and undetected strikes are decisive. However, its reliance on advanced catabar infrastructure, maintenance complexity, and mature supporting ecosystems can limit its appeal for some navies. Meanwhile, the Rafale Maritime emerges as a flexible and operationally mature fighter. Its ability to operate from diverse carrier configurations, large weapons payload, and robust electronic warfare system make it a reliable asset in sustained combat scenarios. On the downside, the absence of full stealth means the Rafale M must rely on jamming, maneuvering, and teamwork to counter high-end threats. Considering all categories, carrier compatibility, stealth and sensors, weapons, and strategic roles, the best tactical advantage ultimately depends on mission profiles and operational environments. The F-35C is ideal for navies that prioritize network-centric warfare and high-technology joint operations. The Rafale M is better suited for naval forces that require flexibility, autonomy, and true multi-role capability from a single platform. So, who is the winner? The answer lies in each user's needs and doctrine. Now, it's your turn to decide. Should the naval crown belong to the stealthy F-35C Predator or to the agile and battle-hardened Rafale Maritime? Share your perspective and join the discussion on the future of naval aviation in the comments section.